It's recording, but there's no sound. <laughs> it's recording. It's fine. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm Megan. Gianna. And we are PLL Hello, Freaks 13. 13. I'm Mike. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Um, okay. So, what we're going to talk about in this uh, video is tonight's episode. Um, and a little bit of uh, last week's episode. Um, the episode starts in, what, like a half hour? Not even? I don't know. Like 37 half, minutes. Yeah. About, uh, okay. We're super excited. Okay, um, what we're going to talk about today is uh, if you don't want spoilers, click off because it's we we watch some of the sneak peeks for next week's episode, so we kind of know a little bit of what's going on. Um, okay, in this in tonight's episode, uh, we find out uh, a little bit about Toby's past and his mother, which we called his mother killed himself, which. You know, we know that that's, that's what's going to be. Herself. Or, yeah, her mother. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, his mother killed herself, so we know that that's what's going to be coming up tonight. But he, They did state that there was going to be an argument with him and Spencer. Yeah, where... well, we saw, I saw the confrontation. Did you, did you get I did not see that, okay. no. Well, I saw, um, Spencer finds out that Toby moved the RV. Ah, A's and, layer, yes. Yeah, move the uh, A's layer. So Toby, uh, Spencer's, like, really pissed off at Toby right now. Um, she, She's kind of having, like, mixed feelings. Is he really still working with the A-team? Um, or is he really on their side? Because that right there just got rid of, like, everything that the girls had that was linked to the A-team. So she's really pissed off. Um, what happens? He, uh... He uh, lets Spencer know why he did it, which then gets us into um, how his mother Story died his and everything. Mother. So we're going to find that out tonight. Um, I don't think we're going to find out every piece of information. It's Rosewood. Uh, you know, stuff's going to be, you know, missing in the storyline and we're going to have to, like, guess. And I know that that's going to happen already. But we do find out that she did, in fact, kill herself. So... Um, I'm super excited about this season. Like, I'm really excited to, like, I know... I think that we're going to get a lot of answers this season. Not even so much of the answers. Like, yeah, everybody wants answers, but... But not only that, but, like, it's going to be, like, more intense Yeah, than like, one, hearing more of people's backstories. Because you got you to gotta figure, like, we kind of were thrown into, like, this... The mix. In the middle of everything happening... And you find out slowly some things about characters' backgrounds, but you don't really... I like, mean, there's what's the reason that Arya's family was in Iceland? Yeah, like, there's, like, a lot of, uh, you know, they said that her father was on a retreat or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff about every single character, even the girls included, that we still don't know about in their past. So, I'm really excited to find out about Toby's past. I mean, out of all the characters, he's our favorite. Not because he's our favorite character. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. I mean, even if it was somebody else, I'd be excited. But I'm just excited that we're actually going to be able to, there's going to be a lot more flashbacks. So that's always good. We get, you know, because a lot of, if you look back to, like, season one and season two, a lot of clues were in flashbacks. Like, a lot. Um, things we didn't pick up yeah, on. Yeah, things you don't really on. pick up on. Um now, okay, what what's another one? What, oh, another sneak peek. In this episode tonight, uh, Hannah confronts Shayna about um, her being with Jenna and Melissa that night. So, I mean, Hannah goes off on Shayna. Like, and I'm super excited to watch it because we're going to be like, woo, go Hannah. She, like, literally, like, bitch slaps her with words. Like, it's, it's intense. So I'm excited to see that. Um... Maybe them will get some information about what the hell Shayna has to do with Melissa and Jenna. Um, what else was there? Emily gets hurt in this episode. Right. Uh, whether it's A-related, we don't know. It probably is. I'm thinking that um, what's going to happen is it's probably going to be A-related. And I'm thinking that the reason that A hurts her is because she doesn't want her to get a scholarship for swimming so she can't move away. She wants to keep the girls close. I'm thinking that that's her reasoning behind hurting Emily like that. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, given the fact that she put the steroids into her cream and Yeah, I kind of think she's like, trying to, like, jeopardize her chances. She's always been trying to yeah, sabotage her chances. Of getting a scholarship because, let's face it, I mean, I, I mean, 
Hannah's not the smartest, you know, she's not the smartest, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed, so she's probably going to stay close, not she's go somewhere far. Yeah, she's the funniest, but <laughs> she's probably, like, college-wise, she's probably not going to be able to go really far, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't really travel if you don't really have the grades to, you know what I mean, or the money to. Which, when you think about it, kind of brings us back to the episode where Cece inadvertently... Not that I'm saying that she's like, like... whatever happened with that? Yeah. How come we haven't heard more about that and when are we going to find out? Yeah, we're what, what, hell... what we're talking about is when she was supposed to give uh, Spencer's application for Penn, uh, for Penn, uh, Penn State University. No, it wasn't Penn or Penn, State. Penn U. Penn, it was some, like Penn U or something. I don't it know. It was some, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. We never really heard more about that, so did Spencer ever wind up hearing back from them? Doubtful. That would like, have been I, mentioned. I'm, I'm confused about that. And why that. hasn't she thought about it and said yeah, anything? Yeah, like, like, hello, how come, how come not... I didn't hear back from that school? Right. Or... But then again, when you think about it, we're still in November of yeah. their senior year. Yeah, but so. still, I mean, it was a couple weeks, like, later. I mean, she would have got a response by now, wouldn't she have? You would think An acceptance so. letter or something? Or so. even a, you know, declining. I mean, for whatever. us, yeah, that was months ago, but... Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that happens. Emily gets hurt and... Whatever. Um, the other... What was the other one? Oh, which I'm not excited about seeing at all. I'm really... I'm. T I, don't be mad at me. You can hate me all you want. But I am totally over the whole Arya friggin' relationship, whatever. Her with Ezra. Her with this new martial arts instructor. I'm <laughs> over it. I didn't, I didn't even see anything about it, and I'm already over it. I, I'm, I don't like Arya. I, I, I don't know. But we find out... She goes for martial arts, you know, she le she's trying to learn a martial arts and, def like, defense classes and everything, and we all know she winds up, uh, you know, not, we don't Getting really. Getting interested in her Interested instructor. in her martial arts instructor, so. I mean, we'll see where that leads, we'll see where, you know, where that leaves Ezra. I, I don't even give a shit, I really don't. <laughs> um... I can care less if both of them just were written off the show tomorrow. That's how strongly I feel about not liking them. So, uh, at the same time, she was upset <laughs> when Ezra was supposedly arrested. Last that upset week. me. It upset me because, like, I felt like that sucked. Like he took all the blame for that. I know. Like, if it was real, I know it wasn't real. He really didn't get arrested, but like that sucked to me because I like Ezra more than I like Arya. Mm -hmm. I have, I just have really bad vibes about Arya, and I feel like. If you've she's seen our other videos, him take, you know why. Yeah, she it's like she's letting him take the rap for this whole relationship. Like she really is. If you actually go back and think about it, like I don't give a crap. If I was in love with somebody, okay, my fiance, we'll take him for instance. If he was really my teacher and I was 17, 18, whatever the case may be, and I was still in high school, I would say to my parents, if you even so much as try and mess around with our relationship, I will leave. I'll be out. You'll never see me ever again. Like, it just seems like she's, like, backing down so easy. And she's just letting him take all the blame for this and all the responsibility. I mean, come on now. Like, did he really have to take the job at, at Rosewood? No. No. No, he didn't. And, it, again, I'm not talking about this. I don't like them. I, okay. don't, I don't care. Next subject. Um, okay. Oh, what about the, uh interview that we saw we read snippets of where ravenswood is going to be a lot creepier yeah so ravenswood we're excited super excited for it. like i am super excited for like this it show. needs to be halloween i know it's only june yeah because we're like halloween obsessed so i'm like stressing out right now i'm like ready for this to be here already <laughs> i'm over fast summer forward. i'm over the summer fast forward the pretty little liars during summer the didn't episode. even start yet and i'm over it <laughs> um yeah ravenswood is supposed to be like okay you know how Rosewood is creepy, and there's, like, you know, the Radley, and that's creepy, and the doll shop, that's creepy. Like, this is supposed to be, like, Much literally nonstop creepy. Like, the whole town is supposed to be creepy. Yeah. The whole town is supposed to be just, like, Creepville, which I'm super excited for. How come these places don't actually exist in I don't know. Pennsylvania? We've talked about this. Like, I would You've love... You've seen our tour of non-Rosewood video, hopefully. Otherwise, why are you watch watching it. this? Watch it. Yeah, go watch our, go watch our tour of uh, non-Rosewood yeah, video. You'll see what the real Pennsylvania is like. Um, but I... Why do we not live in a place like this? Why do we not have an A that stalks us? Because I would love that. <laughs> that. Seriously, I am sick of my life being normal. 
I'm over it. I'm ready for some entertainment. You're some psychotic. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay. You what want we're, we're going to talk her. about? Okay. <laughs> Let's just get this out here. Be, get that out there in the open because everybody's wondering about it. Whatever. Red coat. Okay. Wonderful. Freaking red coat. Who the hell is she? Nobody cares. Um, no, we actually well, we really care. do care. Um, okay. Here's our theory. We think that there's possibly two red coats. Numero Dos. uno, bad red coat. Non hooded red coat. Possibly non hooded red coat. That doesn't really matter. Seriously, Mike? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Non hooded, hooded, whatever the case may be. We think that there's two. Number one, bad red coat. Number two, Allison who is trying to help the girls, who's protecting them, who's pulling them out of the fires, who's pulling them out of the, you know, the, the garage that's fumigated with whatever it is, whatever, whatever the case may be, um, who's helping these girls. Um, we're going to get into that into another video on who our theory of red coat is. Um, I don't really want to get into it right now because we'll talk here all day and we're already at 12 minutes. So, mm. um, so yeah, we, that's what we think. So pay attention for like, you know, stay tuned for our next video. Cause we're going to talk about red coat and we're also going to talk about the whole second queen of hearts. Uh, yeah, we need to definitely touch base on that because we're not buying the whole Melissa thing. No way. Or if it is Melissa, we have a theory on what, what's going on with that. So if that was the case, then why wasn't the face shown? Not even so much why wasn't the face shown, but, like, it just seemed a little odd. Like, I kind of think that Mona's still maybe working on the A-team. Yeah. Um, I think maybe uh, the, whoever's in charge um, is pissed off that her A-team got infiltrated, so now she's trying to kind of infiltrate the girls in a way. If, I mean, that's just a theory. We'll get into that in another video. Cause we need to, we need to cut this video short. Yes. But, um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen in tonight's episode. We are going to record a video right after tonight's episode too. So, uh, pay attention for that. We're going to recap it. And, um, we're also going to be coming up with a video on the black veil person. Cause that yeah. possibly may not be the person in charge of the A team or red coat. It could possibly be a whole entire different person. So. Being tossed out there like a red herring. Yeah. Kind of making you think like, oh, that's the person who's in charge. Only because she has a mask on, an alley mm, mask on. Yes. We've seen multiple alley masks. Anybody can have one. And I'm kind of really confused on the whole Lucas gave, uh, freaking her a massage. Lucas gave Emily a massage. Like, I'm super confused on that. Like, Okay, whatever I don't she buy had a over, lot into yeah, what I'm Mona not said. really trusting uh 90% of what Mona said. Um some things I'm like, okay, yeah, I, okay, maybe I could see that, but some things I'm just like, dude, there's no way. Like no way. And I I really honestly think that she's making it seem like she's not on the A team, but she really is still. So, but that's for another video. Yeah. So, all right, this is way too long. Okay. Um watch tonight's episode. It's going to be great. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, please comment below. We haven't really been getting many comments. People have been viewing the videos but not really putting comments out there. Let like, us know if there's something you want us to talk about. Let us know if there's something you want us to change. Let us know if you don't like our hair. Like, <laughs> Although mine and yours don't look too good today. But we anyway. just got out of work. We both just yeah. got out of work. So just, I mean, seriously, just like seriously with comment. Phone. Let us know. Subscribe. <laughs> Since we only have seven subscribers. Subscriptions. Is that what you would call it? Subscriptions or subscribers? I don't know. I don't know. Subscribers, subscriptions, whatever the case hmm. may be. So, I don't anyway, know. Anyway, tell um, your friends. Yeah, tell your friends. Like, seriously. Like, because we really, we're really serious about, like, holding contests and, like, giving prizes away. Like, Pretty Little Liars, like, shirts, Pretty Little Liars DVDs. Like, even season three. Like, we would have no problem going half on that and going out and buying it just to hold the contest. Like we want you guys to be involved just as much as we are. And we can't do that if we only have two people that enter a contest. So get the word out. Yeah. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace. Hit that button. <laughs>